are there some things in life you can't change and does that mean you're a victim of those circumstances well my mentor in life daisaku ikeda says life is a never ending struggle to grow life is a struggle and ultimate victory is only decided in its final chapter so i guess i will only find out in the end whether i allowed my circumstances to defeat me or whether i fought well until the end however there are a few things in my life that i haven't been able to change and one of them is um, it is very embarrassing for me to even talk about it and i also feel very vulnerable but it is the way i look I have always looked very young for my age and I still do. I will turn 33 years old this year. However, a lot of people would guess my age to be no more than 16. Growing up, I struggled with this a lot, especially when I actually turned 16. That is the age when girls transition into becoming beautiful young women, and while I saw all my friends go through that transformation, I looked at myself in the mirror and wondered why me or rather why not me I have cried about this so much for so many years I even went to some doctors to ask if there was something wrong with me but they would laugh it off and say you should be happy that you have such young looking skin but I didn't feel happy about it in fact whenever I was asked to feel happy about it I felt like my feelings and struggle had been completely diminished and dismissed. No one seemed to understand how I felt. I felt embarrassed, dejected, and I also felt completely alone in my pain. From the doctors and through my own research, I found out that this young-looking skin was simply genetic. It was in my genes and there was nothing I could do about it. Even now, perhaps more so now when i'm introducing myself to someone new i tell them up front that i know i look super young for my age but i'm much older than what you would guess it is embarrassing but i have learned to put that momentary embarrassment behind and focus less on how i look and more on what i am as a person however 3 years back i was terribly haunted by this embarrassment two questions kept coming at me why me and is there really nothing i can do that's when i decided that even though there was nothing i could do to change my face i could still work hard to have a healthy and fit body determined to not be defeated by my destiny i started working out i've always been an active individual and i've always wanted to incorporate exercise in my daily routine so it wasn't like that was the first time ever i was working out or anything like that However, I wasn't able to exercise consistently until COVID hit and we all started working from home. I'm so grateful that there are so many wonderful fitness trainers and enthusiasts that offer good quality workouts for free on YouTube. I've done many different kinds of workouts: cardio, hit, kickboxing, yoga, running. I play badminton too and of course my favorite strength training. I'm in love with strength training. Do I don't have the perfect model body or anything even remotely close to it, but regardless, working out has been character building in many ways. It has made me be patient yet strict with myself. It has made me strong and resilient and I also feel better in general. Once you start exercising, it is also very natural for you to start thinking more about your eating habits and diet. and with a healthier diet your body just aids you better because of the amount of embarrassment i felt from looking too young for my age i could have easily become someone who isolated herself i could have run from the world and hidden myself or overcompensated for how i felt in some other weird way however because of encouragement from my parents and always having friends who never ever even thought of looking at me differently and most importantly thanks especially to my mother who has a very strong spiritual bent i was introduced to great books and great philosophy from a very young age i was never so overcome by my embarrassment that i ran away from facing my life a main turning point in my life was when i started practicing buddhism seriously without which i would have definitely wasted my life away if not because of this then because of something else 
In fact, one of the main reasons I'm able to exercise is also because I do my daily chanting every day and the consistency in my Buddhist practice helps me be consistent even in other aspects of my life. So, this is my workout story. What is yours?